Hello and welcome to my video lecture on the highlights in the history of MySQL. So uh, we're going to be using um, XAMPP. Uh, XAMPP is, uh, has the Apache uh, web server associated with it. Uh, we're going to be using PHP as the programming language and we are going to be using MySQL as the database uh, server for all of our coursework. So just to show you, uh, here again, uh, very similar uh, to the uh, maturation of PHP, uh, MySQL, for all intents and purposes, had its uh, first real version in 1995, and that was the 3.23 version. It was the original version of MySQL. Then uh, about eight years later, uh, came out with uh, 4.0, uh, which uh, brought in support for union type queries. Uh, a year later, uh, introduced support for subqueries and, and prepared statements. Uh, came out with version 5 in 2005, which introduced support for stored procedures, triggers, views, and transactions, which are uh, very common in most uh, database management systems now. Um, three years later, they introduced support for row-based replication and server uh, log tables, uh, most of which we're not going to get into uh, in this course. Uh, in 2010, uh, uh, set up a default storage engine uh, which supported uh, referential integrity, um, making it a, a good referential uh, database. And then uh, 2011 uh, introduced support for what we uh, in the industry refer to as big data, uh, which are just uh, very, very large sets uh, of data and the processing of such data. Um, and then, uh, you know, just some notes, right? So uh, uh, MySQL uh, is owned and sponsored by uh, MySQL uh, AB, uh, which is a for-profit firm. Uh, 2008, Sun Microsystems uh, acquired MySQL AB. And then a year later, Oracle uh, acquired Sun Microsystems. So uh, Oracle is de facto owner of MySQL, uh, the database management system. So in 2009, uh, as soon as Oracle goes and buys MySQL, uh, as soon as it Oracle buys Sun Microsystems, so by buying Sun Microsystems starts to control MySQL. Uh, 2009, many of the original developers uh, left MySQL AB and began, work, began working on different forks of the open source code. Uh, and now one of the most popular of these forks uh, is known as MariaDB. Uh, then, a couple of years later, uh, some tech writers start reporting that Oracle um, wasn't really uh, updating and synchronizing the open source MySQL uh, so that people would have to purchase the, uh, the, the enterprise type version of MySQL. Uh, so, uh, in response to that, uh, from 2012 on, uh, that was 2015, uh, so we've got several of the, the Linux distributions uh, Wikipedia, um, the Wikipedia website, Google as a corporation uh, start to replace MySQL, which at this point is owned by Oracle, and they start uh, using the MariaDB, the open source uh, MariaDB version. So again, just a quick uh, couple of minutes to talk to you uh, about uh, MySQL and its history and how it uh, has a, a very uh, similar history uh, and age you know, again, it's really only 20 years old at this point, uh, to PHP. And then it ends that video lecture.